Welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to delve into the world of SQL interviews, specifically focusing on MySQL. But before we begin, let's set up our stage. We are going to create our dataset together in the video. So let's jump right into it. Here we are in our MySQL environment. The first thing we need to do is create our table. We will call it employees and it will have four columns, ID, name, age and department. I'm going to create the table with you and I'm going to insert the values of record. We are going to say create table here with the name employees and we are going to insert the columns. We are going to insert ID, integer and it's going to be the primary key here. And our second column is going to be name. It's going to be varchar and with the limit of 50 and our third column is age with integer values and our last column is department uh, again I'm going to use varchar here and that's it that's our table that we are going to use in the video let's just close it and run this and we are good to go here and there we have it our table is now ready to be populated with data now let's add some random entries into our table to make it more interesting I prepared five entries for us to insert. I'm going to add them and going to record again. Perfect. Our table is now populated with some sample data. Now let's move on the interview questions. Let's use select sharp from employees and see what our table looks like. After it, we will directly dive into the interview questions. Let's say select sharp from employees and see what our data looks like. Seems nice. Now we can start. Our first question is, can you retrieve all the employees names from the table? You can stop the video and try to solve the questions by yourself. To retrieve all the employees names, we can simply use a basic select statement. Let's execute the query. What we are going to do here is we are just going to close this window and we are going to write our query here like select name from employees and we are good to go there we have it the query will return all the employees names from our table here is the question number two how can you find the average age of all employees to find the average age of all employees we can use average function in sql let's execute the query again we are going to close this window here and we are going to write select let me quickly delete this. Select average age as average age from employees. That's nice. From now on, I'm not going to close the windows. The query will calculate the average age and display it as average age. Question number three. Can you retrieve the names of employees in the sales department? To retrieve the names of employees in the sales department, we can use a WHERE clause to filter the results. Let's execute the query. We are going to start by deleting and we are going to say select name from employees WHERE department is equal to the sales. It's important to use quotes here and let's run this query that's nice this query will return the names of all employees who belong to the sales department question number four how can you update the age of an employee with a specific id to update the age of an employee with a specific id we can use the update statement along with the where clause let's execute the query once again we are going to start by selecting the previous query and deleting it we are going to say update employees set age to 29 where id is equal to the 3 and this is the query that we are going to use for updating okay question number five can you delete an employee from the table based on their name to delete an employee from the table based on their name we can use the delete statement with the where clause. 
let's execute the query. We are going to start by deleting the previous query here. We are going to say delete from employees where name is equal to the, I don't remember the names because of that I'm going to say X and I'm not going to delete anything, but this is the necessary query. Nice. This query will delete the employee named X from our table. Question number six, how can you retrieve the number of employees in each department? To retrieve the number of employees in each department, we can use the group by clause along with the count function. Let's execute the query. Now we are going to start with deleting here firstly, and we are going to say select department and count with sharp as employee count from employees. And now we are going to use group by group by department. And let's run this and see, great. This query will display the department name and the corresponding count of employees in each department. Question number seven. Can you retrieve the names of employees whose age is between 30 and 35? To retrieve the names of employees within a specific age range, we can use the between operator in conjunction with the where clause. Let's execute the query. What we are going to do here once again we are going to start by deleting this and we are going to say select name from employees where age between 30 and 35. And when we run this, we are going to see that we got the result we wanted. This query will return the names of employees whose age falls between 30 and 35. Question number eight. It's our final question. How can you retrieve the employees' names? in descending order based on their age. To retrieve the employee's names in descending order based on their age, we can use the order by clause with the necessary keyword. Let's execute the query. We are going to start by cleaning here once again. We are going to say select. We are going to start by cleaning here. I'm just going to select all and write once again. We are basically going to write the same, same thing, but it's not a problem. We are going to say select name from employees for the last time. Order by age in descending order. And we can see that we got the result we wanted. This query will present the employees names in descending order of their age. And that wraps up our interview questions. I hope you found them informative and helpful as crew interviews can be challenging but with practice and understanding you will excel in no time. Thanks for watching my video. Have a great day.